Increasing access to higher education and overall attainment is important for a couple of reasons. First, it's important for our residents. We know from the research that having a college certificate or degree is associated with higher wages throughout one's lifetime as well as um, less unemployment. Second, it's important for the overall economic competitiveness of our community. Um, we have a degree attainment rate in Central New Mexico of around 38% right now, which is right around the national average, but it's still below communities that we're often in competition with for jobs. So if we want to increase our economic competitiveness, we have to take steps to grow our talent pool, and that really does require an intentional focus on increasing certificate and degree attainment. We engage business and community leaders in a couple of different ways. Um, the first is through our Vision Council. Mission Graduate has a, a great group of CEO level leaders that have come together um, that we call our Vision Council. And their primary purpose is really to, to focus the community on Mission Graduate's big goal, which is graduating 60,000 more individuals with college degrees and certificates by the year 2020. Additionally, we've got four cross-sector work groups that we've pulled together. They're called Collaborative Action Networks. Um, our networks are responsible for developing collaborative action plans and then taking action to really um, implement those plans and make sure that we are staying focused on the different priorities that are going to help increase um, post-secondary attainment. So we have two networks that are really doing the most work around college attainment. The first is our College Completion Network. The College Completion Network is um, taking aim at uh, two big populations that are often overlooked in conversations around post-secondary attainment. The first is adults, um, per particularly adults that have never finished high school. So one of their projects is getting adults um, to finish their GED, enrolling them directly in college, and then trying to figure out what are those practices that are going to help more adults be successful in getting through the college pipeline. They also are getting an effort underway to help more transfer students who go between our two-year colleges and our four-year universities to earn a degree. Um, the second group that we've got that's, that's helping out with post-secondary attainment is our employment network. The employment network consists largely of employers, small, medium, and large-sized businesses, um, as well as folks from education and other sectors in the community. And they've got two efforts underway this year. Um, the first is career exploration. So we're trying to get more students connected to high quality internships, job shadowing, and full range of career exploration opportunities. And then the second is a, an effort around workforce alignment. Um, what we're hoping to do there is to really make sure that every one of our graduates from high school and higher ed are leaving with both the skills and the knowledge necessary to compete successfully in our local workforce. I think it's important to publicly report educational attainment information for a few reasons. First, it helps to keep everyone focused on the goal or the North Star as we talk about in our work. Without some sense of what it is you're working toward, it's, it can, I think, get very easy, can be very easy to get sidetracked in this work. Second, reporting data is important for accountability purposes. If we say we're going to work or we're going to achieve a particular goal, it's important to have common understanding of how we're measuring the goal, um, where we're starting from, and the progress that we're making along the way. Third, I think it's important to report data um, to be able to actually make improvements. So as we are getting deeper into our work, it's important to have some sense of what's working. When you find things, strategies that are working, that you have the ability to, to use your data to either replicate effective practices or to scale those practices to serve more people across your community. On the flip side, I think it's important to have data to assess when things are not working. And when you're getting evidence of, of practices that just don't seem to be moving the needle, it's important to ask the question, what's going on? Why is it that things aren't working? And either put in place the improvements that are going to turn things around or really have the tough conversations about whether we should be doing something completely different. So I have three pieces of advice for 
metro leaders that want to unite their communities around post-secondary attainment goals. The first is that you identify who's already doing work in post-secondary attainment in your community. In Albuquerque, we're fortunate that we've got um, great partnerships with our institutions of higher education. And over the past several years, they've been doing great work to increase retention rates and completion rates. Um, and without their efforts, I think it would be hard, frankly, to have a broader community-wide initiative focused on post-secondary attainment. Second, I think it's important, critically important, to set a goal. The goal in, of Mission Graduate, as I've said, is actually something that we talk about over and over and over again. 60,000 more individuals with college degrees and certificates by the year 2020. The goal, setting a goal is actually important for a few reasons. And the first one is, is that it signals to the community the value of a college degree or certificate and that it's a priority for the community's leaders. Second, having the goal is important for really focusing the community um, on, on an agenda that helps to increase college attainment. And third, I think the goal is important to be able to report progress along the way. In a long-term change initiative like ours, it's important to be able to celebrate successes um, as you have successes, but also to make mid-course adjustments along the way. And the goal can really help you be able to do that. Finally, I think it's really important that leaders invest in the infrastructure that's necessary to support multi-sector collaboration. In Mission Graduate, we've um, got two major partners that are really playing a key role um, in helping to bring together our higher education partners and the broader community. Those two organizations are United Way of Central New Mexico and the University of New Mexico Center for Education Policy Research. And at a minimum, as you're putting together this infrastructure, I think the key components are that you have some convening partner, some ability to, to bring people together in a neutral way to have tough conversations, um, and also that you have the ability to collect and analyze data that are going to help you make improvements along the way and also to, to measure your progress.